Hey girl, it's Coach B. Wiley. You know how when you're in school, school aged, and you're doing an assignment or taking a test and or the teacher may be talking about whatever she's talking about in the front of the class. And then your friend is like, psst, psst, tapping you on your shoulder, trying to get your attention, sliding you a note. What is that called? That's called a distraction. Now, sometimes when dating, we can date distractions. What do those distractions look like? Those distractions look like a guy that is disturbing your peace, number one. A guy that is typically only available when you're either at work and you're not supposed to be talking or texting on the phone. He might be available generally when you have a project to do, an assignment, when you're working out, where you're involving yourself in hobbies, when you're with your child or your children, when you're at church. It's always like it's bad timing. And or you might also be dating a distraction when you're literally on your job trying to mind your business, trying to stay focused. And then all of a sudden he pops into your head and he's not popping into your head for a good reason. He's popping into your head like, who is he really? What are his intentions? I'm so confused about this guy. Where is this going? Like so many questions. It's been seven months and we're not together. And I don't understand why, because he told me he wanted to be in a relationship, yet we aren't in one. But I've met his family. He acts like he wants to be with me. He treats me like we're in a relationship. However, my gut is telling me what the heck. And that is a distraction. And if you're in a situation to where you're dating a distraction, all you have to do is address the distraction. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Address that distraction. And how do you do that, B. Wiley, if he's a distraction? You do that by calling his bluff. If he says, oh, this, oh, that, that means his actions are not aligning with his words, then you must address that. I ain't telling you to wait seven months to address it because a lot of women, I've noticed, will wait it out. Literally wait months and months and months. Not in a relationship, even though he says that's what he's dating with the intent to be in one. Yeah, y'all ain't in one. You know that's what you want. But the fear is preventing you from addressing it and inquiring about it. I'm going to challenge you to stop dating a distraction. Because that's exactly what it is. If he's coming in strong, love bombing, making all these empty promises, not backing up his words, or giving you just enough to stay on the hook, that is a distraction. It's a distraction to me. Why? Because it's not lining up with you. When it's not a distraction, it flows with ease. It's organic. It's natural. It's clarity. There is no confusion. You know exactly what's going on. You know exactly where you stand in his life. You know if you're a priority or not. So if you don't know, then he is distracting you from your boo. Got it? Does it make sense now? When you're dating a distraction, that is a blessing blocker. And in order to get to the blessing, which is the guy that you want to be with, your could be life partner, if you want to marry them, whatever you want to be, but it's someone that you are intentionally dating and they're intentionally dating you for long term, lifelong effects. And if it doesn't give you that, if it doesn't show up with that, if it isn't standing 10 toes down with you showing you that you're a priority from the gate when you make it official after you've been dating for a little while and getting to know each other, of course, not on the first day, it's not going to show up like, yeah, I want to be with you. No, we're being logical, right? So after so long, X amount of time, you're an adult, you know how long that takes and it don't take no seven months. So after X amount of time, you've been on a few dates, he's going to say to you, hey, I want to make this exclusive. And you're going to be like, yay, me too. And then you go from there. However, a distraction ain't going to do that. A distraction is going to drag his feet. A distraction is going to leave you on red. A distraction is going to leave things in the air. A distraction is going to plan a date and then not even contact you and say nothing the day of the date. A distraction is then going to follow up with you a day or so later and act like ain't nothing happened. And then when you ask him, he going to be like his bird died. He had to go walk his dog. He fell asleep. He had to work. He had to go out of town and go scuba diving. It's going to be something that doesn't make any sense. So do yourself a, a favor. Get rid of the distraction. Stop dating distractions. If you're watching this and you've had a previous history of dating distractions, guess what? Common denominator is you, sis. So what are we going to do? Delete all distractions. You need to be clear-headed when you're at work. 
If you're in work and going to school, you need to be clear-headed at work and or school. When you're with your children, no, let him know, these are my priorities. However, if you want to date me, you need to let me know in advance so I can plan because I have children who are in sports and then I have my own thing too. You don't drop everything for him either. A distraction will come right in and you're on your way out to Pilates with your girlfriends because you go every Wednesday afternoon. Here comes that old distraction. As you getting dressed, he's like, hey, you want to meet up? He's very last minute. A distraction won't plan nothing for you, girl. He flying by the seat of his pants. He going to get at you when he get at you, whenever that is. Ain't no giving you a notice. Ain't no nothing. And even when you bring it up, he'll be like, oh, okay. And then he won't even do what you respectfully told him and asked him to do. So just recognize it. Recognize a distraction for what it is. And quit getting a distraction confused with a guy that's busy. With a guy who has a lot on his plate with a guy that is a grown man with responsibilities because I'm here to tell you any dude with 10 jobs and a child and or two kids with adult responsibilities if he is interested in that woman he will find a way with making excuses for these distractions or you will continue to be in a distraction and you will continue to be that much farther away from the dude that you're supposed to be with. So if you're sick of it and you're ready to let it go before the end of the year and carry that energy on here on out, let me know in the comments. Talk to you later.